A mid-Michigan community coming together to support its own during the holiday season. Employees of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse and Lily Pearl's Lounge woke up Tuesday morning without a job after a fire tore through the building. As TV5's Trevor Sahaki found out, the neighborhood is bringing the holiday spirit to every business impacted by that fire. I was just in shock. <laughs> you know, I, I don't even remember, I barely remember coming down here now. John Pielfis is the owner and executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse and Lily Pearl's Lounge. He got the call just past midnight on Monday. I was just in shock and just watching it burn and, I, and not really knowing what the extent of the damage was going to be at that time. We really didn't know that it was a total loss till the next morning when we came back. This exterior is basically the only wall left. The rest is charcoal. My biggest concern right now is it's Christmas time. I've got 20, 25 people work for me that we're counting on. You know, their salaries, their uh, tips <laughs> for, for a big Christmas week here, and uh, uh, anything could happen this week. But one of the employees set up a GoFundMe, which has already surpassed its $10,000 goal. The cause of the fire is still unknown. Bielfis met today with a fire investigator and an insurance adjuster. Lula's had only been open for four months when the fire hit. They closed last March for the pandemic and just opened this summer. But Lula's wasn't the only impacted business. With them fighting the fire, uh, we had some water damage, we had some smoke damage, so currently we're closed while the restoration company is taking care of all those things. Lula's neighbor, Foster Coffee, is going to be closed for a little bit. So they took their mobile car to block down the road to Fitness Coliseum. And that's one of the things about Owasa that's special, is our community is really tight-knit. People look out for one another, um, and we are um, generally all friends. Uh, so uh, again, the outpouring of support for us, let alone Lula's, has been awesome. For the next month or so, Foster Coffee will operate out of the gym. While Bielfis isn't sure what's next for Lula's, he says he's not done yet. In Owasso, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5. And if you'd like to donate to the Lula's employee GoFundMe, you can find a link in the hot link section of WNEM.com.